Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to look at some Master League Premier Classic content with Ursa Luna. Ursa Luna has a really high stat product. It has the second highest stat product in the whole league, only getting topped by Slacking, which isn't really a pick because it has Yawn, so basically unusable. Um, that said, the stats are still very attack weighted. So doesn't have the highest bulk, will actually take quite some damage from uh, charge moves, but the moves, especially the higher horsepower, it will do a lot to everything. We're today playing it with Dragonite, Dragon Breath, Dragon Claw, Super Power in the lead, and Medak was with a Bullet Punch, Meteor Mesh, Earthquake in the back, and the Ursula itself with Tackle, Thunder Punch, and uh, the community move, high horsepower. We lead into a Snorlax, I'm almost immediately switching into my Ursuluna. Um, I'm shielding right here. I should have honestly not shielded. I don't think they could have even had the uh, superpower. I was just unsure. Because uh, I just started the set and in comes the Dragonite. They superpower me and it just knocks me out. I uh, was about to give up. I was about to top left this game out of frustration. Because... Um, I really handled that situation uh, badly, but uh, we're able to fully farm the Dragonite down. Uh, we take a superpower, debuff superpower on the progress. Opponent comes into the Snorlax, no shields to my surprise. Uh, we go for the Dragonite, Dragon Claw. They do shield. I don't know why they didn't shield the uh, Meteor Mash instead, because that just does way more damage. And in comes the old Metagross. And we're not in a good situation, but I feel like we have a shot. They do throw the meter rush right here. And kinda need to land a superpower, don't we? I'm baiting right here. Because if I throw my superpower first, I'm probably not gonna make it. And then I realize I don't even have the time. I need to hope that they shield, and they do. They were probably scared, felt they could just shield there. We go into our mana course. We actually outpace them. They get there. They survive the meter mesh, but they have very little HP. Can the Dragonite Dragon Claw uh, Dragon Breath it down? It can, and the Snorlax, it can Dragon Breath down as well. GG. Second game, a Hexerus. In comes a Snorlax again. This time, I'm gonna go for the superpower. It's gonna get shielded. I'm switching to the Ursa Luna. They have to basically superpower in order to uh, deal uh, good damage. But they don't have it. They have Skull Bash, which uh, it still is like 50%. And this didn't feel like they uh, had enough energy uh, for uh, the big move again. And because of the licks being double resisted, they can't really farm us down either. So I'm just no shielding. Going for my high horsepower right here. Snorlax actually survives it, and right here I probably could have farmed down, but I felt like I I don't need to. Even if, even if um, I throw my move right there, and I'm still in a good position. Opponent brings in Hexerus, we bring Dragonite. Opponent goes into Togekiss, we go into Metagross, and uh, they eventually top left. Now this is a horrible lead. This is what you don't want to see. We switch into Metagross just because we hope that they might not have a good answer. They do have a good answer. They have a waterfall Gyarados resisting all my charge moves, all my fast moves while doing neutral with the waterfall and super effective with the crunch. They knock me out right here. I'm gonna get a little bit of farm with my D Knight. I'm gonna take a crunch in the process. But yeah, this looks very grim. In comes the Mammoth Swine. I have bad move timing right here, giving them an additional turn. I'm just throwing the Dragon Claw, because I feel like I just need to take a lot of risks right here in order to have any chance. And I hope that they don't count, because I'm not actually at the superpower. Opponent shields again. But uh, right here, I feel like they're just going to get to double... They're just going to get to double avalanche, aren't they? And then they have a third Pokemon in the back. But 
To my surprise, they switched out into Snorlax. And even though I was happy for a second, I felt like, yeah, I mean, we're just going to get double superpowered, aren't we? We basically need to get out of a high horsepower to knock out the Mammoth Swine before it gets to an avalanche. They have Skullbash again. All right, we are farming, we are farming, we are farming, and we see a Pitai. I was really lucky. I, I didn't count, it was just like feeling. And we need one more tackle, and we do get there. I don't know. I don't understand how I won this game, but somehow it happened. <laughs> Winning against that Mammoth Wine lead. All right, we see a Milotic. Milotic can have Waterfall or Dragon Tail. I confirmed it's Dragon Tail. Then we switch into the Usaluna. If it has Waterfall, it's a, a pretty, pretty good matchup for Dragonite. We take the Surf. We build up to the high horsepower and then throw the super effective Thunder Punch right here. On with the no shield. They take it. They throw another surf. I'm deciding to shield right here. In comes another mammoth swine. We throw the high horsepower. They're probably gonna respect it because this would do a lot. And they fully farm me down. And right here, I feel like my opponent can just safely double high horsepower because they have such a huge energy advantage. And I shoot the first move, and I'm counting, and we do catch the high horsepower right here. And we are then able to fully farm them down. This is what we needed to have a shot at winning this game. And right here, I want to superpower the Snorlax, but my opponent catches it. Unbelievable. How did this happen? There was no way for me to prevent that. Right here, I made up my mind. First, I wanted to throw the superpower, but then I decided I'm going to go for the Dragon Claw because I feel like otherwise they might lick me down and we don't want that to happen. Opponent ends up throwing a move. And right here, we need to get to double medium ash. And I'm hoping that they do not have the EQ. They have superpower. We easily survive it. We would even be able to survive another superpower because they are now debuffed, so it does less. We get the first Meteor Mesh shielded, the second one, well, they can't shield. No more shields available, so GG. Next game, we end up against the Excadrill lead. This is a fine lead for Dragonite because of the superpower. You cannot shield the first move, you have to let the first one go because you are not debuffed yet. They immediately switch to Gyarados, we switch to Ursuluna, and the Dragon Grabs are adding up, but this Thunder Punch, double super effective damage, would knock them out. They end up shielding with this shield right here. We cannot really farm this down with Metagross, and we also don't want to take all the... We also don't want to take all the... Dragon Breath damage on Dragonite, and right here, we, we don't get there. I'm hoping that my opponent maybe lost track, but they are not no shielding. Resist the Thunder Punch. Immediately switches into their own Dragonite after I bring my Dragonite in. And I'm fi I'm thinking, all right, my opponent is just gonna, they're just gonna save their shields. They're just gonna save their shields, and they're gonna win. Uh, I don't know why, but they threw a Dragon Claw right here. I'm like, all right, maybe undercharge. But uh, for some reason, my opponent shielded. And now I'm I'm really happy because my Dragonite in the back has a superpower. It wins CMP against Excadrill. We shield the superpower in order to get to the Meteor Mesh and take the Dragonite out. And that's game. That's game. Maybe they don't know it yet. But unless I'm lagging right here, which hopefully I won't. I won't. And that's a superpower that is going to take the Excadrill out. G to the G. And uh, that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, trainers and trainees, was actually a 5-0 with uh, Ursaluna. I have no idea how this happened. Because I feel like I should have lost some battles in this set, but I ended up winning them all. So I'm happy about that. 
Um, overall, I would say Ursaluna is a Pokemon that you can play. It's not like a great pick. It's not like a Dragonite. It's not like a um, Gyarados. Um, but it has like a lot of stats. So that kind of makes it viable. Um, the two previous sets were both positive. I think a 3-2 and a 3-2. Both 3-2s. One of them could have definitely been a 4-1 if I played a little bit better. So yeah, overall, decent, but nothing, nothing uh, uh, extraordinary. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to uh, leave a like, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, and uh, follow me on the socials above. Till then, see you!